Hi guys, this is Black Zeppelin, and today we're going to learn how to play part one to pulls apart, and my computer is fucking shitty, because it's starting to overheat already. Alright, things to know is that it's going to take a lot of finger picking, and probably not even much of a picking. Um, it is in dadgad tuning. Now, what is dadgad tuning? Dadcad tuning is just tuning in D suspended 4. But it's called dadgad for short because basically when you strum down, it's going to be dadgad. D A D G A D. But right now I'm in standard so that I can teach you guys how to tune it down to dadgad without using a tuner. Alright, you want to start off. These are your six strings. In this order, it always has to be in this order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Remember, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to start off taking your six and your fourth string, and you want to plug them together. Because this is a D. And you want to make this, the sixth string, a D. So you want to tune it down. You want to wait till they get that nice, smooth hum. And then you want to take these three with the first string. Six, four, and one. You want to tune it down until it makes a nice, smooth sound. We're done. Now you want to take your fifth string and your second string, and you want to tune your second string down until you get a nice smooth sound. So, once you have it tuned up, it should sound like this. In case that smoothness goes away. Okay. Now, we have it tuned up. The hardest part is definitely the first part. Because of the finger picking and the way to keep your fingers on the strings. So what you want to do is you want to see how that, that shape that I have in my fingers. You want to have your pinky on the 7th fret of the 3rd string, then put your ring finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string, same string, just put it under it, now put your middle finger, the one you use in traffic, on the 5th fret of the 4th string, and then use the index finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. you get the transition down of your fingers filling, just strum between the two, okay? This is a right hand, no, left hand technique, because this is not how the pattern goes. to do. I only use two fingers for this song, but I highly recommend you to try and use it with more. When I learned this song, it was like a year ago, and I could only use these two fingers. So, 
if you watch him, it's gonna do. When you're on your first part, it's gonna be three, two, four, one. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Three, two, four, one, four. Write that down, just to get the pattern down. Three, two, four, one, four, two. Now just practice that. or not but that's just lighting the bad lighting okay so once you have that down when it gets down to the sixth fret it's gonna change a little bit it's gonna be three two four one three two write that down three two four And then when you go down again at the fourth, it's going to be the exact same as it was the first time. So if you play it all together fast, it's going to look like this. Okay. And that is probably the hardest part of the song. Just trying to remember that the middle part which starts on the sixth string goes three three two instead of four two start speeding up but right now I want you to play it at no faster than this speed okay now what does my left hand look like while I'm doing that well it's not very pretty it's really not <laughs> okay so remember the strumming pattern and now this is what your left hand should look like I know it's hard to see but it should look like this Practice that. That's going to take some getting used to. And your fingers are going to get tired, but you will get used to it. And the last part, the transition part is pretty compli- it's, it's confusing. It's like... Okay. Now, the part that goes right before the first verse starts. It starts going like this. Um, this part, it's not the left hand that's tricky now, it is the right hand. For the right hand, you want to do the picking strand of 6, 4, It's hard to sit there and try to do it because I have it by muscle memory. So we'll do it 
slow then. Six, four. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Six, four, five. Three, four, two. Six, four, five. Three, four. There we go. I hope you guys go back or pause the video because I do not remember what I said. But that is how you play it. Okay. Now, what does the left hand look like? It looks like this. You just have your index finger on the 4th fret of the 4th string and then you just put your middle finger the one using traffic and your ring finger on the f I'm sorry hold on on the 5th fret 5th fret you see on the 6th string fifth string and it's the exact same strumming pattern just a bunch of finger printing it is going to look like this okay so it's gonna be four two zero four two zero and that's on the fourth and fifth string And then it's going to be, you were always the, you were always the golden boy, yeah. And that's going to be four, this is on the fourth string, four, five, four, two, zero, four, on the fifth string, two, zero, two, zero. So, overall it looks like this. Why did they tell you that you were always a golden boy and, and that you'd never lose that, that? When it gets to that part, it goes, lose that fifth fret on the sixth string. Light in your five, five, four. And then it's going to go back to the strumming pattern where you start it off. Um, if you have questions, please put them down in the comments. If you have, like, maybe suggestions of something that maybe you didn't catch or you didn't, you didn't follow through on the, on the lesson, please don't hesitate to send a message or put a comment. And I will try and clear that up as much as possible. But this is just part one, and I will try and get part two up within the week. Alright, guys? Say thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned something from the video.